Is your Windows 11 having startup problems like restarting loop or a blue screen error? In this video, you will know how to fix the Windows 11 startup problems. Overheating One of the main causes of the restart loop is overheating. If your Windows 11 PC doesn't have proper heat management, it gets overheated and causes the restart issue. So you should check if the CPU fans are working and the vents aren't clogged with dust. If the fan is not working, change them and clean the dust from the fan vents and the CPU. Unplug the peripherals. If you have recently installed any peripherals to your computer and after that your Windows 11 PC isn't starting, then you should unplug it. The new device could be conflicting with the OS causing the startup issue. You can disconnect all the peripherals and then power off your PC. Now try to start your PC. Check your RAM and hard disk. The faulty hard drive and RAM could also cause the startup issue, so you should check them if they are correctly connected. You can also use any other computer to check your RAM and hard drive. Try Windows Advanced Startup Options. To troubleshoot the startup problem on your Windows 11 PC, you need to reach the Windows Advanced Startup Options. If your PC is continuously restarting, you will see the automatic repair screen after a couple of reboots. It will try to repair the startup. If you see that the automatic repair couldn't repair your PC, click on Advanced Options to see the troubleshooting methods. If your Windows 11 PC isn't booting, you need to create a Windows 11 bootable media. You'll need a working PC for that and a USB drive. Download the media creation tool for Windows 11, then create the bootable USB using that tool. Now start your PC and press F2 or Escape or Delete key to enter the BIOS setting. The key to enter the BIOS could be different for your PC. You can search on the internet to know the key to enter the BIOS. Then locate the boot order and place the USB drive at the first location. Then save and exit. Now you will see, press any key to boot from CD or DVD. Press any key. Enter your preferences and click Next. Now click on Repair Your PC. Then go to Troubleshoot. Select Advanced Options. Here you will see a couple of options to fix the issue. System Restore. If your PC has a System Restore point, you could use it to restore Windows which might fix the issue. System Image Recovery. This option tries to recover the Windows with an image file. If there is an image file, you can recover the Windows. Startup Repair. The Startup Repair tries to fix the problems that are preventing Windows from loading. You can try this option also. Uninstall Updates. You can use this option to uninstall the recently installed updates. Use this option to uninstall the latest quality update, then try to start your PC. If it is not fixed, reach here again and uninstall the latest feature update. Startup Settings. You can use the Startup Settings to boot your PC in safe mode. Click on Restart. Now press the 4 key to boot your PC in safe mode. If you successfully start your PC in safe mode, you can uninstall the recently installed applications conflicting with Windows Startup. If that doesn't solve the issue, you can run the commands here that are mentioned in the next step. Command Prompt Select the Command Prompt. Then you need to sign in with your account. Select the account, then enter the password. Now you will see the command prompt. Now type chkdsk space c colon forward slash f and hit enter. Wait until the process is finished. Then type sfc space forward slash scan now and hit enter. Now type boot rec space forward slash fix mbr and hit enter. Once you are done, type exit and hit enter. Now click on continue to see if the commands worked. Reset PC. If the above fixes couldn't solve the startup option, you'll have to reset the PC. Reach to the Windows Advanced Recovery options. Click on troubleshoot, then select reset this PC. 
you will have two options. Keep my files. Keep your personal files but remove your uninstalled apps and programs. The second option, remove everything, will delete everything on your system drive, so select the first option. Then select the local reinstall. Let the process complete. Hopefully, your Windows 11 startup problem will be solved after this. And that's it for this video. If you have any questions or suggestions, drop them below and share this useful video with your friends. Like the video and subscribe to the channel. Your likes and comments motivate us to create these videos. Don't forget to press the bell button to receive alerts for videos on Windows tips and tricks.